I'm Angela Southey and I'm head of the environmental test chambers here at AMID Health Group. Um, the last time I spoke about our, envi our environmental test chamber, which is built according to ASTM standards, and today I'm going to talk about our uh, modified ASHRAE 52.2 test rig. The ASHRAE test rig is built from aluminium, so it's very easy to clean down and a smooth inside surface which uh, is suitable for introducing microorganisms because it can be easily cleaned down afterwards. The, um, the test rig uh, actually flows from the back of the chamber here around to the front of the chamber and it has a, a large uh, variable speed fan at the back of the chamber which can be adjusted according to our experimental requirements. The fan speed can go from 0.5 up to 4 meter cubed per second so it can go really very fast. There, as you can see on the, the test dock, there are a number of doors at the sides which are sealed with uh, gaskets and these can be removed um, to enable um, sample collection systems to be put in and also um, for cleaning down the duct after testing. And also we can attach uh, air cleaning devices into the duct. As you can see here, the blue cables coming out is from a, a UV device that we have uh, on the test at the moment. Um, what's novel about this test duct is that it, it is also connected to our environmental test chamber. So you can work either of them independently of each other or they can be worked together, which is uh, very suitable for um, our aerobiology research that we're doing here at the moment because we can see um, how uh, microorganisms will behave in the test duct in conjunction with an air cleaning device, but we can also monitor what happens in the, t in the chamber. Do the microorganisms pass into the chamber? and how, how are they uh, killed by the, the disinfection system in the test duct. Uh, there would be a number of inter industries, I believe, that would find this of uh, value for, for their testing their products, um, including um, air cleaner uh, companies that could test an air cleaner in, in, in the duct, or they could also uh, test the air cleaner in the chamber and look, at the effect, look at the effect in the duct. Also, uh, uh, MERV testing for filters can be done because this is actually a 52.2 test rig so we can do MERV testing on filters and also we can look at uh, disinfection systems within the duct like uh, UV um, germicidal which um, obviously kills off microorganisms and we can also look at um, other types of uh, uh, photocatalytic oxidation systems um, and which would have carbon filters and they are used for breaking down VOCs um, we can measure that in the duct and we can also look at allergen removal as well. Um, so these carbon filters are also good uh, for trapping allergen and we can, we can assess that. Um, this, this test rig can be used for a number of um, claim verifications, as, as we are saying, for UV disinfection systems. We can look at the percent inactivation efficiency of the test rig. Um, this, would be, this is calculated based on the microorganisms, the number of microorganisms in, introduced at the proximal end as they pass by the UV, they're killed off, and then what, what ends up at the distal end, and that's how you calculate the percent and activation efficiency. Also, you could look at MERV testing for filters to see how efficient the filters are at trapping uh, microorganisms and dust. Um, in addition to proximal and distal um, studies uh, in the duct, you can also determine um, what ends up in the chamber. So it can pass by an air cleaning system and do the microorganisms get carried into the room like in a, say in a hospital, in a ward or something like that. Um, it can tell you how efficient the uh, air cleaner is at removing those, uh, not just in the duct but also in the chamber. I think this would be particularly important for um, industries that are targeting uh, hospitals and nursing homes and large office complexes, department stores, for controlling um, microorganisms circulating in their HVAC duct systems. I think they would uh, definitely get ahead of the market if they were able to say that this is actually effectively, um, this works very well in the HVAC system and it also works in the uh, rooms that are connected to it, that the microorganisms aren't circul circulated around, they're destroyed in the duct. This, this is uniquely positioned in a, a hub of uh, laboratories, so I mean, it's ideal for samples coming from this can go directly into the 
range of labs that we have and the range of expertise and the results can be analysed on site. So I think this is very unique to have. We have a mycology lab, virology lab, a bacteriology lab and an allergen testing lab. So any of those can be tested in this facility here and then analysed in the, in the lab.